Hey guys, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. I hope y'all are doing well today. I am doing really good. I discovered a new tool. Well, it's probably not a new tool. It's just new to me. But um, if you don't know this about me, I love yo-yos. Okay, absolutely love yo-yos. I know that there is a way, you know, like, it's supposed to be simple to make a yo-yo on your own, whatever. What? Okay, well, I tried and I failed <laughs> until I discovered this tool. Let me show you what I got. This is called the Clover Quick Yo-Yo Maker, okay? And it's just two plastic discs that you pop the material in, okay? I think it actually goes like this. And you line up this line with this little notch right there. See that little notch? That's probably the hardest part of this operation. Other than you have to make sure and catch and not so in the wrong way, like I have done several times. <laughs> but, 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 it is an easy, easy thing to do. I can usually do one in about probably 10 minutes. Some, y'all will be much faster than I am, but I absolutely love making these. I'm supposed to click in. Yeah, I heard it click right then. Uh-uh. No, you see how it's out of line? I can see it's out of line. That's why it's not clicking in. Um, let's see. Now, I got this off Amazon. I am going to provide the link to you below, okay? If you click on that link, just know that's my affiliate link and that, um, you know, you're supposed to disclose that. That'll, I, I'm going to get a little commission off of that click. You don't have to do that, though. You can go search on Amazon yourself without clicking that link. Just search Clover Quick Yo-Yo Maker. They come, this comes in three or four different sizes. This is the large, and I'm gonna show you, this is how big it, um, it turns out. Two inches, two and a quarter inches about. So basically, from what I understand, and I don't know if you can see it, there's a line right here. That's how big the yo-yo will come out, and it, it, it's accurate. So it comes out that big. So it gives you an idea, right? Now, once you take, I just have these charm packs. I'd gotten these a long time ago from Walmart on clearance and I had some left over. Then I went ahead and I took one of these, used it as a template and I cut some material that size. Now this material came from Carla Frizzell. I am so excited to use this too, really am. Um, anyway, so you take, you've got your material in here like this, and then all you do is you just cut off the excess. Now, as you can see, I have two jars right here in front of me. This is for my finished yo-yos, and here is for my scraps, okay? And that just kind of keeps me tidy here, because this can get, you know, like any other project we do, right? My desk gets to be a little bit of a mess. So, then you do that, cut that off. There you go. Now, what you do is you take your needle and your thread. It's already threaded, I threaded everything, okay? I just, I'm just using a light, light color thread. And you see where this line is? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull this side of the material down and I'm gonna go through this hole right here, okay? Right on the other side of that line, and that's how I'm gonna start, okay? And then you're just gonna make sure, like I said, I have made this mistake probably half a dozen times where I sewed the wrong way, but as long as you stay on track and you follow all the holes that are in inside the yellow, the dark yellow ring, you'll be fine. 
I kind of squirrel a little bit sometimes and I don't pay attention or I um, get up and walk away from it and then I come back or, you know, whatever. I boo-boo. I booger things up pretty good sometimes. But, I mean, it's just all part of it. Uh, I'm so excited, though, to do this because this is a project I can sit in front of the TV and do with my honey. So, I am enjoying this immensely. And I know I don't have y'all on screen. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this so um, we can get to the other side so I can show you how, how it goes, how you have to uh, cinch it through. So now you have it sewn all the way around on the correct side. So all you do is you pop your little plastic piece from the middle. Oops. And then your, your needle will come right up through one of those holes, whatever hole you finished on. Okay. And then you just take and you pull your circle off of the yellow plastic disc. Okay, and then you take your needle and you start pulling. And it's gonna pull from the left-hand side because that's the side that I was sewing, right? I was sewing the opposite way. If I would have sewn this way, then it would pull from the other way. Did that make any sense at all? <laughs> Clockwise and counterclockwise. You know what I was talking about. Okay, so you just keep pulling, right? Now you can kind of see it start to take shape, right? Look at this. Isn't this fabulous? Now this is where I, I, will, I will confess, this is where I get a little hung up. Someone who's uh, more used to a needle and thread, this is going to be easy peasy for you guys, most of you guys anyway, I'm, I'm telling you. But for me, it's just, um, you're supposed to knot this right where you started, which I'm I guess the sewing gods were with me that time because usually I have a very hard time finding that little knot and then pull it back through okay and then what they tell you to do is they tell you to take your needle go into the hole go into the hole and then just thread it through one of the underside of the loops like that just come out through that this is what they say anyway. And, oops, oops, gonna get knotted. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-huh. And because we're on live TV, no, I'm joking. Let's see, I think I can, can you, I think I can. Oops, I may not be able to. Ooh, it may not, y'all. Oh well, if it does, we'll, we're gonna roll with it. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oop. Nope, did I get it? No, I did not get it. This is supposed to pull the knot and the thread inside of the circle. That's the whole purpose of doing that. Okay. There we go. I got it. Whew. Crisis diverted. So then, all you have to do at this point is just cut real close. Easy peasy. And there is your yo-yo. Isn't that great? Now, guys, I think this thing was 7 or $8, maybe? really inexpensive like a 60 millimeters is what this one is quick yo-yo maker by clover um 
In fact, I, if I'm not mistaken, Tammy at Texas Sweet Tea Treasures, if you watch this, confirm for me, but she had a pom-pom maker recently that she showed in a video, and I want that one next, and I believe it's by Clover, too. But anyway, this, to me, is well worth the money. I mean, you saw, it, really and literally, it takes me less than 10 minutes and I'm not very good at sewing, but look at all of these precious little yo-yos I've, I've been able to make. Aren't they sweet? I cannot wait to fill my little bucket here. And, and I got some antique buttons recently that I'm going to sew on some of these little circle holes. Cause see some of my holes didn't completely close up. Like I, I didn't do it right, but you know, user error, that's okay. Uh, I can fix it with a button. So anyway, guys, if you're interested, I will put my Amazon affiliate link. If you don't want to go that route, I understand that's fine. Go to Amazon, look them up, because like I said, they have three or four different sizes. They have the mini ones, and then they have a really big jumbo one. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I always say, I hope that whatever it is you get to do today in the next few days, you have as much fun as I have had making these yo-yos and sharing this with you guys. We'll chat soon. Bye.